Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to link up or connect your personal checking account to Binance US. All right, so I'm already logged into my Binance US account. I'll click here to go to the dashboard, and then it says my account is verified, but to get started buying crypto, I need to add a payment method. So let's click here, add payment method. And you get three different options here. You can transfer money from your bank using ACH, which is a checking account or savings account. You could have a debit card or you could have a domestic wire transfer. In this video, I'm going to connect up my business checking account. So I'll click on ACH. Now you'll notice here that Binance uses this third party company called Plaid to connect Binance US to bank accounts. And Plaid will ask you for your bank login information. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't want to give out my information any more than I have to. I'm going to click continue here. But on the next section here for selecting your bank, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to say link with account numbers. And I'm not going to allow Plaid to ask me for my bank login information. So I'm going to click on a link with account numbers. Now when I do that, I need to enter in my bank account numbers. And what Binance US will do is make two small deposits into my checking account, which I need to check in a day or two and get those small amounts and then verify those amounts with Binance US. And then they will link up my bank account. So I'm going to click on continue. And I need to enter in my routing number for my business checking account. Click on continue. And then I need to enter in my account number for my business checking account. Click continue. So it's just double confirming here. It's asking for my account number one more time. Click on continue, and it says, is this a personal or business account? It's a business account. Click on continue. Enter the account holder's name, and it says this should match the first and last name listed on the account. So enter in your first name and your last name exactly as it is on your business checking account. Click on continue. Now you need to select the account type. Is it a checking account or a savings account? In my case, it's a business checking account. So I'll click on checking, click on continue. So here's the authorized deposits and withdrawal area. So deposits, it says Plaid will make two deposits of 99 cents or less into the account you confirmed in the next few days. Withdrawals, we'll withdraw what we deposited to avoid bank fees. Make sure you have at least $1.98 in your account. So just to note, Plaid is still performing these small deposits and withdrawals from your checking account. It's just that using this procedure, Plaid does not ask for my login details to my bank account, which I would prefer not to give out. So I'll just click on Authorize, and then it says, please use the reCAPTCHA below to proceed. I'll click here, I am not a robot. Now I gotta do this goofy capture thing. It says select all squares with bicycles. So I'll select that, 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 and click on verify. All right, so now it says return to Binance US in one business day. You'll verify that two deposits in the range from one penny to 99 cents have arrived in your account by seven five. All right, click on continue. And then you'll see here that it says pending. So now I just need to wait a day or two, log into my checking account, get the value of those two small deposits, come back here to Binance US, enter those two small deposits, and then Binance US should be verified and connected to my checking account through Plaid. I'll resume this video when I have those small little deposits and we'll continue on from there. All right, so I waited about 12 hours and I checked my bank checking account and I noticed I got two small deposits here from Binance US on the same day and one was 42 cents and one was 84 cents. 
So now I need to take those two deposit numbers and input those into Binance so I can verify my bank account. So I'll go back to Binance and I'll go up here in the upper right hand corner and click account and settings. I'll scroll down to payment management, click on manage. And here is where I'll see my bank account pending verification. Now I don't know why they don't allow you to click on something in here to go and verify those deposits, but they don't. I had to go to a different area. So I come back up here and click on this upper left icon, Binance US, click on go to dashboard, come up here and click on add payment method from which we originally started. But now when I click on ACH, it asks me to verify my deposits. So I'll click on verify and it says enter the amount of the first deposit. So the first deposit was 42 cents. So we'll make this 0 0.42. Click on continue. Now it's asking for our second deposit, which was 84 cents and click on continue. And it says your account was successfully linked to Binance US. Click on continue. Let's refresh this page. All right, I'm not sure why it still says pending. All right, so it says that it was verified, but the linked accounts area under bank account is still not updated. It still says pending. So it looks like we need to give Binance a little time to update their database. So we'll come back and check on this in a little while and see if it's updated. So after opening up a ticket with Binance and asking them why my bank account wasn't linked, I finally got a response back and now my bank account is linked. There was nothing wrong. It just took time to get through their flow, I guess. If I click here to go to dashboard and I use the pull down up here in the right hand corner and click on account settings and scroll down to payment management area. And then next to payment management, click on manage. And then under bank account, link bank accounts, I see my bank, bank account number, Type is ACH, which is checking, and I have a daily limit of $1,000. So now my bank checking account is now linked to Binance. And so now I can transfer funds from my checking account into Binance to buy crypto, and I can transfer USD dollars from Binance back into my checking account. All right, so that's how you would link an ACH checking bank account to Binance. I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.